It was senior day at Roy Kidd Stadium as EKU football closed out the home portion of their schedule yesterday, taking on the Golden Eagles of Tennessee Tech. First quarter, Colonel's down seven, and Parker McKinney drives right down Broadway before running into a traffic jam, picking up 13 yards. McKinney again, this time slinging it out to the flats where Matt Wilcox Jr. puts Fane on skates, which lets him into TTU territory before being tracked down after a gain of 26 and a fresh set of downs. Next play, McKinney rolling out and dropping it off with Jerome Gross, putting Eastern Kentucky in the red zone. Daryl McCleskey on the cutback, looking for the corner, sheds one tackler, runs through another, and heads for the pylon, but gets run out of bounds. McCleskey would cap the nine-play drive with the one-yard touchdown run as EKU would tie the game at seven. The Colonel offense set up camp on the field, dominating the time of possession in the second frame, and fed the leg of Sam Hayworth as the senior knocked down three field goals, putting Eastern Kentucky on top 16-7 going into halftime. EKU's first drive of the final stance, a Connor Blount in at quarterback, hands the ball to Alonzo Booth, who takes it into Tech territory, and the big man carries a herd of people an extra seven yards, chewing up 15 total and moving the sticks. Third and six from the 19, Blount drops back and guns it to Wilcox Jr., who makes the catch at the three, putting the Colonels on the lip of the cup. Blount, the backup running back. Booth, no trouble that time. He leaps over left guard to the end zone for a Colonel touchdown. Booth's touchdown made it 22-10, and that would be the final as Eastern Kentucky ended senior day on a high note. The defense was relentless in this one. The Colonels racked up seven sacks while holding Tennessee Tech to just 150 total yards. Of those 150, just two came on the ground. EKU closes out the 2019 season next Saturday on the road when they take on Jacksonville State. I'm David Miller for EKU Sports.